Ooh, it's cold out. You guys ready for another unboxing video? Let's do it. Hello everybody and welcome back to another unboxing video. My name is Anthony with Burt Process Equipment and today we are going to be unboxing three different products from George Fisher Signet. Let's get to it. And here we have the products. We have the 32751 Submersible Smart Sensor Electronics, the 2724 Flat Style Electrode, and the 2726 Bulb Style Electrode. Now let's get to the unboxing. George Fisher Signet specializes in automation systems with high performance products in three primary areas, measurement, control, and actuation. George Fisher sensors are made to integrate easily into piping systems. Their control systems use basic relays to PID controllers and the latest communication technologies. As an authorized George Fisher distributor, Burt Process provides our customers with applications and system integration for the complete line of Signet control and measurement instrumentation. Okay, so we've unboxed these three products. Let's take a closer look. All right, and here we have the 32751 Smart Sensor Electronics. We have the 2724 Flat Style Electrode and the 2726 Bulb Style Electrode. Now the 2724 and the 2726 both have the dry lock connector with corrosion resistant gold pins, a right on body, threads for NPT or ISO connection, an internal temperature sensor with a porous reference junction. And lastly, the smart sensor includes everything I have mentioned so far, plus a memory chip enabled for convenient data storage and access to calibration data, operational data, and manufacturing date. When the probe is not in use, it is very important that the end of the electrode stays wet and the cap is put back in place. The probe must be submerged in conditioning solution that resides in the cap when not in use. This solution is partly acidic, and if you get it on your hands, be sure to wash them and rinse well. In regards to the flat sensor versus the bulb sensor, primarily the bulb sensor is used for submersible applications while the flat sensor is used in inline applications. However, generally it is personal preference. The smart sensor electronics, what the probe will be placed in before it is placed in the tank or application, does not need to be protected from the cold. The probe is placed into the smart sensor and the cap is placed on securely. Alternatively, for inline applications using the 2751-2, you'll want to take your flat style pH electrode and place a small amount of lubricant along the O-ring. Now you'll want to seat it into the preamp, locking it into place. Note you'll want to remove the cap prior to the installation. Take your insertion T and place it over the top and reverse thread the locking nut. To avoid damage from cold weather freezing, this product needs to arrive to its destination within one or two days of shipping. Heat packs are required in extreme cold temperatures to prevent damage to the electrodes. These products have applications in wastewater, pH neutralization, metal plating, scrubbers, harsh chemical applications, including chromium reduction, as well as many others.
And that concludes this unboxing video. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found it informative. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our unboxing series, and for more information, visit our website at birdprocess.com.